Hello again. Welcome to Apple Pie English School's Reading Time with Kent. So, of course, I'm Teacher Kent. Today, I'm in front of uh, my maps. You can see where I'm from, of course. I'm from Tennessee, which is famous in America for having uh, the most states that touch it. We have eight states that touch it. And here's some pictures from my hometown, actually. So, I hope you're enjoying these uh, reading time. We do once a week. So, again, if you... If you're enjoying these with your parents every day, so please give us a like, uh, comment below to tell us how you like them to encourage us to do more. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and also share with your friends. So uh, we would love more people to learn English quicker, of course. So last week, as you know, we did uh, Spot Goes to the Farm. So we'll finish the Spot series pretty soon. We have a couple more, I think. So let's see, today <clears throat> we're gonna do do spot can count spot can count as you can see the nice horse here and next week so if you're following these every week next week <coughs> we will go over this one spot goes on a holiday this will be our next week's thing okay so let's see so today's topic is spot can count how about you can you count let's see one two three four five let's see if you can count with spot okay we're going to learn to count to ten wow yes uh, so spot can count. Let's see. Here we go. Dad. So remember, if you have this book at home, please follow along with your finger. Dad, I can count from 1 to 10. Yay! Yeah, from 1 to 10. How about you? Can you count from 1 to 10? Uh, can you count in Japanese, in English, in Spanish? Let's say, okay. Uh, good boy, Spot. See what you can do. See what I sorry. See what you can count on the farm. So you're gonna count on the farm. So the dad's encouraging him. Let's see. So Spot's gonna go around the farm and count some stuff. Here we go. Okay. How many mice are behind the bag? So the bags of rice or bags of flour. Let's see. How many do we have? Oh, one. Only one. And the mice is saying hello. So this should be a mouse. If only one, there's a mouse. Mice would be two, three, four mice. Okay, so there's one mouse. That's right. Okay, let's see. Next, how many squirrels? So can you follow along? How many squirrels are in the tree? Oh, in the tree. Look, Spot's looking in the tree. What do you think? I see. I see squirrels here. How many do you think there are? Let's check. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, there are two. One, two. That's right. Don't count me. <laughs> so the bird, the bird's angry. Don't count me. Yeah, it's on the squirrel. These are the squirrels. Yes, two. There's two squirrels. Can you say two squirrels? There you go. Good job. Let's see. Next page. Whoa. How many horses are in the stable? So this is a stable. Where the horses live is a stable. How many horses do you see? Let's see. One, two, three. That's right. I know, I know. Let's see, Spot. Three. There's three horses. Wow, we got the same answer, Spot. Okay, next. So the cat already knew the answer. Next, let's say, oh, how many ducks are on the pond? Oh, can you see on the pond, how many ducks do we have? We have one. Did you get four? I got four. Let's see what Spot got. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. He got four. Four ducks on the pond. Okay, let's see. Next, can you guess what comes after four? What? So let's see. How many pigs are in the sty? It's called a pig sty. It's a place where pigs live. Also, your mother or father might say, hey, oh, your room is a pig sty. means it's really dirty. So the image is that pigs are very dirty. Let's see, how many pigs can you see? I see one, two, three, four. How many did you get? Let's see. Oh, Spot got five. We got five. Yeah, five. There's five pigs. Correct. Yeah, correct. There are five pigs. Okay, so we did until five. What number comes after five? Can you guess? Let's see. Here we go. How many hens are in the yard? So how many hens do we have? Let's see. We have one, two, three. Okay, how many did you get? Let's see. I think I got the correct answer. Let's see what Spot got. Six. Yeah, me too. I got six. Uh-oh. And look, we have some not hens. The hens is the mother chicken. So the baby chicken, we say chicks. So six and us chicks. So there's also six chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there's six chicks and six hens. 
So six mothers and six babies. Okay, let's see next. Oh, can you guess what the number comes after six? So how many rabbits are in the garden? How many do we have? Can you count them? Let's see, one, two. Oh, oh, here's one more. Did you miss this one? How many did you get? Let's see what Spot got. See, he's hiding behind the tree, I think, here. Oh, he got seven, seven, that's right. Only seven, oh, question seven. He wanted more, but we have a snail here. A snail, yeah, the snail is saying only seven, yes. Okay, let's see, next. What comes after seven, can you guess? How many geese are in the orchard? So in the orchard, so the apple orchard or fruit, we usually say orchard. How many geese do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and oh, we have seven. Is there only seven? Oh, here we go, maybe one more. Let's see, how many do we have in the apple orchard? Eight, eight. How about me? Oh, me. Is that, is that a geese? No. Again, geese, more than one is geese. If only one is goose. Uh, an interesting story is one time I was at the Japanese garden in Memphis, Tennessee, so where I'm from here, and the we didn't know, but we saw the nest, and we saw the eggs, and me and Maya sensei, we looked near it, and we're like, oh, what's that? And then we didn't know, but the goose, so one is goose, so more than one is geese, the mother goose, I guess attacked us with her wings that came straight at us because she was protecting her babies. So hopefully, yeah, your mother or father are protecting you the same way, right? But it was really scary seeing the geese, uh, the goose, sorry, the one goose coming straight at us. Uh, it was very scary. Uh, luckily, though, we could back off and then he, and then the mother went back, mother or father, I don't know which, went back to protect them. Let's see next. How many sheep are in the field? Oh, how many sheep do we have in the field? Can you count them? Let's see. We have one, two, eight. Is there eight? What do you think? Eight? That sounds weird, right? Yeah, there's nine. There's one hiding here. Nine. That's right. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of sheep. Nine sheep. Yes, nine sheep. So sometimes we say the black sheep of the family means the uh, outsider. So the black sheep or the white sheep of the family. Okay, let's see. Next, how many cows are in the barn? How many cows are in the barn? So the barn is where the cows live. Let's see, can you count them all? Wow, let's look for the horns. Here we go. One, two, where do we have horns? Three, uh, no horns, but four, five, how many did you get? Did you get 10? I got 10, let's see. Uh, yes, 10, Spot got 10 too. 10, there's 10 cows in the barn. Milking time, so the bird is announcing milking time, time for milk. Well done, Spot. Yeah, these are all uh, cows. Uh, these are actually bulls, so these are cows. Usually no horn is, uh, is a female so these are cows the horns are bulls actually and that is it i think he counted until 10 yes how about you could you count until 10 so let's practice again what what's this one did you get to 10 okay so also practice in japanese and also practice in spanish or practice in French, like in Spanish, you could do uno, dos, tres, and you can do until 10. Uh, like my Saturday kids can learn. My Saturday kids learn how to count in Spanish and French, uh, as well as English, so, and Japanese. Wow, for counting until 10, they're quadrilingual. They have four languages. Okay, thanks again for watching. So again, please like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends and family so we'll know that you're enjoying them. Again. Our video next week will be, uh, and watch these videos many times, of course, at least seven times to remember the stories. So every time before you go to bed, like 20 minutes before bed. So next week's story, Spot goes on holiday. Well, he's going to have a nice vacation. Okay, so I'll see you next week for our next video.